Over the weekend, I started pulling clips for this video on animal-style tater tots. I thought it would be fitting with Chantal's latest name change. See, this is the video where she first starts thinking about using the term foodie beauty. I'm not gonna lie, things have gotten pretty dark in the foodie-verse. Sometimes I feel like the Titanic's about to go down, and all I'm doing is talking about the food. In any case, I just want to keep my channel about the recipes and all the dishes we see here. So if it means burning a couple of chickens, that's what I'll do. Alright, so I have some tater tots here. And I've put some olive oil in the bottom of this baking dish. You can use a cookie sheet, whatever works. And I've just mixed them around with a bit of the oil. The idea is that the oil will help crisp them up since I'm not going to be deep frying them or frying them of any kind. So I just prefer to keep it, you know, I don't have a deep fryer. I don't really like deep frying things. So I'm going to put this in the oven on 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just going to check on them periodically, make sure they're not sticking to the bottom, move them around a bit. Probably be in there for about um, 20 minutes or so. And sounds like the oven's ready, so I'm going to pop them in. In the meantime, I've diced some onions. Try to get them as small as you can. And some butter. I've probably used about, I'm going to start with a tablespoon and a half for now and see how that goes. I can always add a bit more later. But I'm going to cook these on medium, maybe medium low heat. And the idea is that you want to caramelize them and not burn them. So you want to cook them on a low enough heat that they will caramelize and not burn. So I'm going to stir these around and I'll show you guys what they're like when they're finished. So I'd say those are pretty much done. Nice and golden and ready to eat. All right, so this is the final product. I've melted some um, American cheese slices. Well, we, in Canada, we call them just cheese slice. And some actual cheddar, because I can't stomach just cheese slices, like processed cheese, with my onions. And now I'm going to put some of Thousand Island dressing. Mm. And there you have animal style DIY animal style tater tots. Let's eat. Hey, foodie beauties. What about foodie beauties? Has anyone used that? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. If you guys have any ideas what to name yourselves, please let me know. Um, so happy April Fool's Day. I was going to fool you guys and say that um, I was pregnant or something. Something unoriginal. <laughs> But I'm a bad liar and you would never believe me. But I'm thinking of doing that to my boyfriend. But enough of that banter. Let's eat. So this is the animal style tater tots I invented because, well, I, I, you know, I didn't invent the whole animal style thing. It's an in and out thing, which is an American chain, which we don't have here in Canada. So I had to make this myself. Um, so in and out has animal style fries and I like tater tots. So I made them and... You know, I just kind of improvised with what I had. So this is a Thousand Island dressing, um, caramelized onions, a mixture of cheddar cheese slices and processed cheese slice. So let's give this a try before I do anything else and see how this tastes, okay? No, you guys try it first and let me know. Okay. First bites for you. All right, let's try O M F G. Mm. <laughs> no. No. Impossible. <laughs> this is like crack. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know what? I deserve this because I had a glass of wheatgrass juice this morning, okay? <laughs> ah, I'm getting full. I can't finish it. Ooh. Uh, you guys can have it. Oh, wait. I just want this one bite with the onions. <laughs> Yum! All right.
for me, this was way too salty. There was just too much going on with all that dressing and two kinds of cheese. The onions turned out great though, so I'll definitely keep that idea in my back pocket. I'm not sure how this compares to the real thing. California peeps, what do you think? As for what I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to try to keep my channel commentary free. It's all about the food for me, and as long as you guys want to see it, I'll keep making this content. 